I have officially hit record. Cool, cool. Keep in mind for the last, I didn't tell her that we were, she was going to be on camera. So she got mad at oh. me. Three wardrobe changes. It was one wardrobe Nine change. Thank you. Hair, different, different hairstyles. 35. It was like two different hairstyles. <laughs> no. No. A whole, okay. She rated. He literally Sephora goes, for "Okay, you ready to record?" And I'm like, "Record. We're recording." And he goes, "Yeah, I wanted to record with you today. Is that okay?" I went, "Yeah, that's fine." And he's like, "Do you want to record now?" And I'm like, "Okay, but I don't look great. I don't feel great. Okay." And now he's calling me out like, "35 makeup changes." <laughs> I didn't put any makeup on, thank you. Ah, uh, because your natural beauty doesn't need it. I'm not sleeping outside tonight. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Let's Talk Denny podcast. The best podcast in my mind. Today, we are back. Another episode. Second episode with a real co-host over there. Pretty face. Uh, I'm Tendi. Carter, I don't really care what you call me. She's Sav Fettelbaum. She might care what you call her. Mm. No, not really. I don't know. Uh, it's a lot of things to talk about today. Kind of. Not really, but kind of. But first, we're going to roll the intro that I still need to change. Because it's not updated. Okay? Roll. <laughs> And we're back. Wow. How enthusiastic. Every uh, time I go like this, it's too early. No, it's time. okay. Because I can always cut to it. And then it's like, oh, by the way, now we're back. It, it's. Well, no, because last time it, I did that, it just went, I went, whoop. And then you, you're like, okay, let's roll the clip As to, after I did that. And I'm like, and I did it again right now. <laughs> It's okay. I you can blame the the the, the Discord call for that one. You can uh-huh. you can throw Discord under the bus for that one. Uh welcome back again. I'm Carter Tendy, she's Sav or Pedal Bomb. Uh today again, let's talk to these podcast. The bi weekly podcast because I don't have enough time weekly or any time to record it. So yeah. It's a buy it, so I only have to record it once every two weeks. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm just nodding my head along. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of just here for all the ride. I do everything. Yeah. So this episode, we got a couple things to talk about. Um, if you read the description of the video or audio, depending on where you're listening, got a bunch of things to talk about. We're going to talk about... Logan Paul and George Janko and their whole situation because Sav knows nothing about it and I want her opinion on it. We're going to be talking about Alvin and the Chipmunks, the entire four movie series because we sat through every movie and watched it and vibes, vibe, legitimately listened to all the music. Uh, and then we're going to talk about how we met. So you can pick what we start with. What do you want to start with? We will use the best for last, so we will start with the Logan Paul situation, because I, again, don't know anything about it, so I don't mind hearing new stuff about it. All right, Coolio. So I got, uh, did my little bit of research, because the only time I ever do research is never, but I thought it would be nice to actually have the proper facts. This is from Indie100.com. Logan Paul... This is George Janko. Logan Paul used to be, or Logan Paul hosts his own podcast. Do you know that? You? I did know that. You did know that. So he hosts his own podcast, uh, and he's co-hosted with his friend Mike Malak, who is a ex-drug addict, which is their kind of bit. True story, but mm-hmm. they, they use it as a bit. And he's been through, I think, about three different third co-hosts. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, one of them was his old videographer, and then he left for his own personal reasons. Another one was his own old best friend, and he left for his own reasons. And the third one is George Janko, who is a comedian, content creator, kind of, he does a little bit of everything. Uh, and there was a episode where they had, do you know who Tommy Lee is? Comedian? Not really, to be honest with you. They I don't had, they, understand. They had this comedian on who mm-hmm. was basically just making fun of George the entire time. Which, you know, as a as he's one of like the top comedians now. But he was kind of ribbing George the entire time. George ended up getting upset and left. And that started kind of his downfall and almost push away from the Logan Paul podcast. George ended up going and making his own podcast, which was supported by Logan Paul and was um, like he encouraged it. And he's like, yeah, go do it. It's good for you. It'll help you, you know, get your route because whatever. George ended up leaving the impulsive podcast. uh, And he hasn't been back since. So George on his own podcast came out. Uh, claiming some things happening during the Logan Paul podcast. Yep. One of them was that he wasn't getting paid the right amount of money from Logan Paul. Uh, the other yes. was that he had to pay ten grand a month just to stay in Impulsive. So buying airfare where they traveled, hotels, mm-hmm. blah, 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 blah. So he was saying that he wasn't making money and he had to spend money, which ten grand a month is insane. Wow. Yeah. Logan Paul then made a TikTok off the clips, uh, stating his own things. So Logan Paul said that George Janko was he had access to the company credit card for Impulsive to cover any of his expenses, whether that be air travel, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, food whatever it may be, as well as he was paid more than $317,000 for the 15 months he was on the podcast. So for over a year, he made $317,000 based off of just the podcast alone. Uh, Paul then carried on to say, uh, as well as, this is a quote, as well as having his own credit card, all expenses related to the show were paid for, including all travel and lodging, obviously. George's total reimbursement came out to $20,000, $20,317. I love to see any books that show otherwise. Spending $120,000 a year to be on a show is a little confusing. George Janko claimed that he was also fired from the Impulsive podcast, which Logan Paul said no. Quote, George did not get fired. He quit. I'll touch on that in a second. But after he quit, I called him frequently. I reached out and I wanted to reconcile the friendship. I invited him to my birthday party, WrestleMania, and even my ranch a few weeks later, which he chose not to come. Mm -hmm. Uh, George Janko also took a brand deal with Logan Paul's Prime, which we've tried. Their uh, uh, energy drink competitor. Uh, it's it's Celsius, it's the new one, whatever. Uh, Logan Paul then came out and said that he wasn't even given the chance to sponsor uh, George's podcast with Prime and, you know, whatever. Uh, and that he was totally, he wasn't even had the chance to match an offer. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that he said that it would be confusing inviting uh, a competitor's I can't think of the the word a competitor's like sponsor competitors show onto his show while they're still on your contract. We said after that, that's he's welcome back on no problems asked. George Janko then okay. responded with a video of his own saying uh, your TikTok is cute. But when you want to be a man, let's sit down and talk about it. So George Janko was inviting him to come on to his own podcast to talk about it instead of just saying here's what actually happened Mm -hmm. so 
too long didn't read. George Janko comes out with all these claims. Too uh, long didn't read. Too long didn't read. TLDR. Um, I'm trying to see if there's another thing that explained or explained uh, Logan or Logan Paul's or George Janko's last thing. I don't think. Uh, Bobby Lee was the the com uh, the comedian. Mm -hmm. Uh, but he he basically said, um, D George came out and said I wasn't paid this and that. Other things happened, and I wasn't stuck up for. Logan then came out and said he was paid. I did stick up with him. I tried to stay friends with him after the fact. And George came back and said that he just wants to invite him on and talk to him about it. So Logan brings out, George brings up accusations without backing facts. He says, I have it if you want to see it, but doesn't show it. Logan Paul then brings up screenshots and legit bank statements and stuff like that about what happened. And then George invites him onto his show. What's your thoughts? Okay. Um, as much as I could follow that because <laughs> whatever. I got bored. I love you. It's, it's fair. <laughs> um, I don't really know. There's like I have a little bit to say, but obviously I wasn't there, so I can't say too much about it. And I I could see it going both ways, honestly. Because like no offense to Logan Paul or anything. But I've seen him do some pretty shady things a few times. Yeah. That's just, like, what I've noticed, and, like, time after time after time. But he's not like other YouTubers. Like, like there's no allegations of him not really, like, not that I know of, anyway, of him not paying anybody or, like, not being, like, he's not the greatest person. Right. But he's fair. Right. So, like, I, I, I've never seen him really, I've never seen him do anything, like, to people he's working with, necessarily. But, I don't know. I, but I also, again, have seen him do some pretty shady things in the past, and I can imagine him, like, screwing up this whole elaborate lie in order to keep his reputation because a right. lot of people who do that but i don't really have too much to say about it because i don't really know a lot about it i i think that again it could you're i think you're right with that it could go both ways mm -hmm. but from what it seems at this moment it seems that george is trying to get attention through logan and Logan, Logan just wants to end it. He goes, look, I'm trying to be friends with this guy, and he's not. Which means, he, in, in again, his video, it sh he showed screenshots between messages, like, between, you know, messages between them just saying, hey, hope you're doing well. Let's go do this. Let's go do that. Um, But, again, you could be, like, Logan Paul has done scam people with his crypto in the past. He's, you know. Prime is under its whole yeah. thing right now. Um, like, it, it, like he's done some pretty shady things in the past. He's you know, Japan. <laughs> we don't bring up we don't Japan. Bring, okay, no, he wants to write that mm -hmm. off entirely. Um, we, but <laughs> it's it's something where yeah, it could be possible, but his video is like, look, I'm trying to be friends and I want to squish the beef right now so we can be friends and then George comes out and says well if you want to be a man let's talk about it 
so he's actively trying to get Logan Paul on his. He mm-hmm. he wouldn't go to yeah, it was impulsive. Just tricky. It's tricky because obviously Logan's not all innocent in it. No, but at the same time, he's famous. Like he, people will exploit, even if you like exploit other people, people are going to exploit you anyway. Especially when you have such a big following, they're going to attempt to take what you have. Like they're going to knock you down a pedestal. They're going to try and take what you have and make it their own. Like they're going to try and do that because that's just how people are. So I don't disagree that he probably is doing this for his own benefit, especially because if Logan is saying like, I want to be friends, but that he doesn't want to be friends, then maybe he is just exploiting him because it's like, I would never do that to a friend, but that's just my opinion. And obviously this is all alleged before (laughs) anything else. It's all all alleged. Don't sue us, Logan. Um, Or George. It's all alleged. But it's it's kind of the same idea we're talking about it. George could just be trying to get views. Think think of the um, think of the content that comes. And Logan Paul is not new to making content. He knows why Mm -hmm. George wants him on there. Think of the views that George with the million couple million views logan paul admits to blah 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 logan paul versus george janko on the george janko views if you even put logan's name in the title you automatically are getting a bigger like audience because they're like gonna be invested it's like oh logan paul's involved let me hear about that whether you hate him or love him like you're gonna look at his content because you hate him or love him like you're you give him the satisfaction anyway uh, like, and it's like automatically you see his name and it's like oh oh my god Logan's involved and that's why this video might be called logan paul versus george janko i know i was thinking about <laughs> that i'm like the views though yeah we'll see how this goes though. we'll see how this goes um but again it's it's one of those things where if they talk about it i don't end up seeing Logan Paul going on George's podcast. I don't see George going on Logan's podcast. It would have to be through like a mutual thing or through their own social media or it would again, Logan's not new to this. He's been doing it for 10 years, which is crazy. Eight to 10 years, which is crazy to think about. But he probably you go. I feel kind of bad because, like, what if this is just a ploy for views? This, like, Logan wants a friend. They're, and oh. his <laughs> potential friend is, like... Money makes people do crazy things. Oh, I know. Um, but they... There was... I was listening to Logan's podcast, an episode, and he was talking about... It's funny enough. This is just a co- coincidence. <laughs> He was talking about this one YouTuber who wanted to make a documentary about like a week with Logan Paul or something like that. And Mm -hmm. the YouTuber kept reaching out, kept reaching out, kept reaching out. And Logan kept saying no, because there was nothing for him to gain. So then the the YouTuber ended up saying he came back a while later. He goes, look, we got to deal with Apple TV. Let's do it. Logan goes. Okay. So he goes and he does the filming with the guy about the documentary and this and that and logan was talking about you know some things can't be put in there for like legal reasons or business reasons or whatever like emotional like just things people maybe personal reasons and the guy goes and he like makes the video and puts it on youtube on his own channel the guy lied about it being on Apple TV because he knew Logan would only agree if it was on Apple TV. If it was on a bigger platform. If it was on a bigger platform than just the guy's YouTube channel, then okay, yeah, they're both making monetary value with that. Logan made no monetary value about that, but he signed a contract that his lawyers went through and was like, oh yeah, no, it's going on Apple TV. So it was it was it was just like he knows they both know it. They both know their ways 
around content since they've kind of both been doing it for a while. Which, again, goes back to George's comment. If you're a man, you'll come and talk about it. So now he's calling Logan a, you know, a bitch. You don't come and talk. You know, if you really want to be a man, come and talk They're about it. They're adults again? They're adults. I forgot. <laughs> it's 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 stupid beef, but it's entertaining. Always. It's it's developing. Oh yeah. Beef well, is yeah. Throughout history, um, men are known to, to like not men, but like humans, like men, like people. People are known to turn against each other for the entertainment of others. Like throughout history, that's just been how it is. Like. But friend or foe, we'll have to follow up on it if anything develops because the amount of stuff happening it could go either way. Oh, I know. All right, know. let's. What do you want to say? What do you want to do next? How we got together? Or are we saving that for last? It's up to you. I said best for last, so okay, whatever so you think. Alvin and the Chipmunks. <laughs> we sat through. How long is each movie? An hour and a half? Give or take? Roughly. Give or take. Give or take. So it would be five hours, six hours of Alvin and the Chipmunks? I can't believe we have our sanity intact. Yeah. So six hours-ish. Keep in mind, it wasn't all in one sitting. It was not all in one sitting. We sat through about... you go. I was gonna say it's like three, like three days of like. Yeah, whatever. we watched like a movie and a half each, each time we okay. were seeing. We each time we had the chance, so we watched all four movies, and I don't know if you'll agree on me with this, but I think we kind of agreed on this when we watched it. They get progressively worse every time. Well, I just I do I think it it's it depends. If we're if we're talking like oh, I should have clarified. Animation wise, it gets progressively worse. Well, I, I think most of them are like very I think it goes from cuz they're it's not bad animation necessarily. It's it goes from Oh my god, they, Alvin and the Chipmunks, they're chipmunks. Whoa, chipmunks. That talk. Crazy. And then it progressively turns into, oh, ra- a bunch of random cartoons talking Yeah, they, with human beings. They almost made it look more cartoony. And I, think, mm-hmm. I think that's like the best way to describe it. I describe the it as The fourth movie dollish. really shows it. The fourth movie really shows it. Which is depressing. It's funny. It is. It is kind of funny. Um, I think. I think I told you this. Maybe I told someone else this. The fourth movie makes them look like the dolls. From oh, you the told first me. movie. Which I is, said that. Did you say that? Yes, I did. I, I said might have like said the dolls that. From the first I might have said the that dolls to someone from the first else. Movie. Yeah, yeah, I'm stealing your content. whoop do. What else is new? All the time. Welcome to the world where you can't be original. Anyways, and I, th- I actually think it was really funny that they, I don't want to say they played into it, but the fact that they had Alvin act like a doll in the fourth movie in the airport. <laughs> but I think they did it to Simon too, didn't they? Or no? No, they didn't. No, it was just to Alvin. Yeah. Anyways, it went from being like, singing chipmunks it was singing chipmunks trying to not creep people out to then establish singing chipmunks illegally going to high school Shh, don't tell people that they illegal, and we can get back to this illegally going to high school and then having another set of chipmunks which somehow come from the same something where they ate the same you know flower that gave them singing voices and they're trying to establish themselves through Ian Hawk and then it goes to 
they go on a cruise for some reason because they need a. And let me tell you, every villain seems to be the same. Oh yeah, because three of them are Ian Hawk, and one of them is a knockoff brand of him. Being Doc, uh, <laughs> it was really funny when you said he looks like he, he kind of is like Ian Hawk, and I'm like, you're right. <laughs> You're like, that's the point. That's kind of the point. Um, so it's it went from singing chipmunks trying to be normal to chipmunks being illegally put into a high school and then having another set of chipmunks who are the girl versions of the already established chipmunks trying to make it big. Then they all go on a cruise and decide to paraglide away from the ship, not by choice, almost get killed on an island. They come back and they're like, oh, yeah. Dave decides he wants to be in a relationship. Surprise, surprise. Comes back and he's like, oh, whatever. And they decide to go to Miami. And then the chipmunks go, oh, he's going to propose with the new brother-in-law, the stepbrother. And they decide to go to Miami through like the longest way possible and then get put on a no-fly list. Because a guy had his relationship ruined by the chipmunks. I'm sorry. Who, by the way, chased him through like states. How many? Like six states to get there. To Miami. Yes. And Just still lost. Ain't got a tattoo of him on his back. Spoiler alert. It's such an interesting series and i i think as kids it was like oh my god this is so funny la la looking back at it as an adult why did it go from them trying to like develop music careers and then their caretakers trying to get back on his feet and now they're just oh yeah we got to go stop the possibility of our not yet legal dad getting married to a guy we bonded with well, the only thing I like that stuck through the whole way was that Dave thought they should all be kids. That was a great idea. Well, he the whole the whole way through. That's what he kept saying. Even in the fourth movie, he's like, Well, now you guys get to be a regular kids. You guys don't have to perform anymore. And they're like, Well, we love performing. And it's like, yeah, well, now you get to be a regular kid and enjoy your life. And then they stopped. It was funny too, because they stopped performing worldwide. That's why they went on the cruise, and that's why they, whatever, right? That's that's the entire kind of the entire point of the fourth movie is that they just stopped performing, and then mm -hmm. all of a sudden you see three chipmunks running around with sweaters and talking to you, and nobody realizes that it's the chipmunks. Well, yeah, because they're not kids. They're dead technically <laughs> wild animals Which was, don't say that don't tell people how long the chipmunks live just search that up yourself um no and then at the, end of the, at the end of the fourth movie they get adopted by dave which by the way would they go through Means like they went to pet adoption or would they go through like children adoption which is the, i want to know what children. paperwork children they did children because it's, it's it yeah it's a feel-good moment but it just doesn't make sense legally. And then how how did they get put into high school? No birth certificates, by the way. And Dave wasn't even there. Dave, yeah, it. Dave wasn't there. What Dave was literally in right Paris. The sirens. Dave was in Paris. Dave was in Paris. That's he was hanging out with Kanye. Your sirens, Dave. <laughs> they're on to me. <laughs> they realized. But yeah, and then he gets get him. Can't talk about the chipmunks that way. Get them. They're not legal children yet, and they're put into high school. Nobody, I, yeah. I, I, I st nobody. I wish they went through how we went through the legal process of putting them in high school. And I wanted to see a scene where they're like. They're chipmunks. How are they allowed to be in like high school? Like I was hoping they would legal like. Nobody's self-aware. Yeah. In, 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 
these movies nobody's self aware. Which is it's really funny. Like they don't. It's have only a legal yet. process until like it's not a legal process until they get adopted. Yeah, now they can go to high school. <laughs> Well, not only did they go to high school, they also became, like, big, like, celebrities. Without any legal processing. (laughs) Nobody questioned singing chipmunks. Nobody questioned where they were from. There was no, like, Twitter thing against them. No, nobody questioned the fact that there are chipmunks speaking English and singing. We're like the only two probably ever, not ever, but now to actually go through and logically criticize a childhood movies about singing chipmunks. I think the music also got. I've I've watched a few YouTubers who talked about the logistics of um, the chipmunks, but other than that, I've had. I think we're the only people to question why they talk for sure. <laughs> what n- do they come from Chernobyl? Like what happened? Um Chernobyl? I also th- I also think the move like the songs the song choices got more I don't know how to describe it. They fit more in the year the movie was produced. Mm. Because in the first movie, it was like came out what twenty two thousand seven, Funky Town, and this and a bunch of song, Bad Day. Like there were songs that yeah re- came out. Some of them came out the relatively or around that time, but like Witch Doctor that came out like eighties nineties, maybe earlier. Like you you had songs from different eras. Then you get to Ch- Road Chip. And it's like Harlem Shake and Uptown Funk and like songs from that year or from like the last two years. I think Uptown Funk was in the fourth one, just saying. I said Road Chip. Oh, I thought you said you meant like. The fourth one. Uh, the, I thought you meant the third one for some reason. It's just not Road Trip. No, third one's Sorry. Chipwrecked. <laughs> I just heard ship. Oh, that's fair. So I was like, I was like, silly goose. <laughs> but even even in like the, 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 the third one, it was still like music that was within the last three years of that movie coming out. Well, I kind of disagree with you. A little bit. What do you mean? Expand. Well, like, okay, so with the older music and the newer music, I think it's supposed to be, like, for all audiences. It's supposed to be, like, not just for kids, not but for adults, too. Like, for all audiences to keep everybody hooked. Well, that's what I meant. But I think... What I'm saying is the because, movies got more focus to be newer songs. Oh, on the that. The newer movies got came out. Well, I don't know. I think I think it's just to keep in to keep kids and stuff entertained because yeah. it's new songs. Like I think I don't think it's that it's that big of an issue. No, but if I'm criticizing it, I'm gonna go full blown into criticizing a movie about singing chipmunks. Damn it! Fine, I'm fine. going to criticize them. Everywhere. Go on your rant. Keep going. No, um, I think even in like. Like in the fourth movie, they got Red Foo to come in and just promote his song from LMFAO, the guy that. Listen, shook if his you were junk. told you were to be on Ch- Ch- the Alvin and the Chipmunks to promote your song, would you not? Absolutely, I would, but. <laughs> I, w- I would. I'd I be wouldn't, like, heck yeah. I wouldn't have agreed to saying, nah. Party Rock is old school. We're going to play something that's new and playing my new song. I would have just thrown it in there and been like, I'm in the movie, and then have my song be in the movie. Mm. Because there was, what was it? I don't know the show, but there was a, a show back in the 90s 
where Garth Brooks was completely kind of off topic, but not off topic. Garth Brooks, one of his songs was playing in the background. And they're like, oh, what song is this? And they turned to the guy sitting at the next table. It was like at a bar. The guy sitting at the next table and goes, do you know, do you know who sings this song? And Garth Brooks turns around and goes, I don't know. Like nobody, like that's how you pr- kind of promote a song. You bring the guy on and go, oh, what song? Is this your song? No, what? What are you talking about? I have no idea what you're talking about. Mm, I don't know. It was, it was just they did. funny. Well, they didn't even really acknowledge it. Because I hadn't, I wouldn't have even known it was somebody promoting their song until, like, you told me. You're like, yeah, he's just promoting his song. Because I assumed that it was, like... I will say that song is a played. bop, though. <laughs> I think it was, per- like, played throughout the whole thing. So I think, like, personally, I think they did it pretty well. They promoted it well. Move your hips and dance. Because I wouldn't have known, especially in the beginning, because it's a bunch of music. It's a loud party. And all of a sudden, you have this really awesome song that fits really well with the scene. Yeah. And Simon skateboarding into a pool. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Falls down. Let's do it again. I also love how they just vlog the entire experience. I know. For Dave. Hey, Dave. So here's what your party's looking like. And then they cut two minutes later and it's like, oh, yeah, by the way, we got 30,000 plastered teenagers. (laughs) And I love it. But I mean, looking back, they're they're like. What's the word? Movies that you can sit and enjoy, no matter how bad they are. You can still be like, okay, I'm going to sit and watch an Alvin and the Chipmunks movie because it brings back memories. Nothing beats cars, though. I'll still stand on that fact. All right. Anything else you want to talk about? Well, we are going to talk about how we met, but Mm. I don't know if We can talk about how we met. And then if something comes after, then... By the way, when you were we were talking and you said um, earlier, when you said money does crazy things to people, yeah, you should watch the third movie. You are so true. <laughs> Ian Hawk gets paid to wear a suit. Actually, you all the movies in Alvin Lady Chipmunks, Ian, all three of them, Ian is so focused on making money that he legitimately traps the chipmunks in cages well not even him because him his is kind of like makes sense logical but like what's her name the girl who goes crazy on the island oh why was she there to make monies to steal the treasure which still was a really weird thing for a movie about singing chipmunks (laughs) That. It was my favorite one. Just saying. I will say. Like, I think we. No have. hate to anybody else, but I loved that one. Just I plus, I like the chipettes. That's fair. I'm I'm a chipettes girl all the way. I will not lie. That's why I like the second one too. And the second one is my second favorite one. And then it's the first, and then it's the fourth because the fourth was okay. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't. They didn't have the chipettes in it, really. They did, but only for like yeah. American Idol. That's kind of sick. That's kind of sick, to be honest. I, I would have was... had somebody super famous performing and like singing it really bad or That's... something. I like how they did it, where it's a nobody, and they sing about an album comes in and goes, "You're going to Hollywood," and hands them the gold. And and you're like, Dude. going to Hollywood. Sorry, like, girls. They're like, dude, you can't do that. That's not your job. <laughs> and then the girls just I end was... up leaving. Yeah, I know. They end up leaving. They end up leaving to go sing a, a song, which good song, by the way. I think the original songs in four. Right, was was, good. Listen, it was for Dave. No argument there. It I was liked, for Dave. It was a sweet moment. I liked the uh the country song that they sung in the, the bar. Oh, yes. Yeah, I like that one. That was a good one. 
they should redo that, but with like not chipmunks, so I can actually listen to it in public. <laughs> anyway, thought about the, the last song that they made for the chipmunks. Home. I want it. I I love that song. It if it were song. an actual. You would think that they would try to get around it, but they don't. Anyways, we can move on to our possibly final topic. Maybe, if we don't get distracted, as per usual. <laughs> we'll see. No guarantees. Do you want to start it off? Or do you want me to well, start I, it off? I kind of want you to start it off, just because... I know exactly, like, how we met, but you never really talk about it, so I don't know, like, All right, your it perspective. started on a nice September day. No, October. It was October. It was I, early October. Early, late September, early October day. I'm walking with, at the time, her ex-boyfriend, my homie, Joe, shout out. We like Joe. Love Joe. Probably my favorite one of your exes. That's the only right. one you like. Okay. Fuck you, Justin. I'm calling him out by name. Anyways. Don't do that. Nobody knows. Don't. Nobody knows. Don't Anyways. So we're walking, and our school's laid out where it's basically two long-ass hallways, a big thing in the middle, a big area in the middle, and then the hallways kind of just continue. So we're walking down one of the big hallways that is closest to our cafeteria. Because our cafeteria is in the far end of the big hallway. And it's underneath the big form stairs. I wish I could draw it out, but I cannot. Anyways, so we are waddling down the... the we're waddling to that area underneath the stairs. And we look... And I look up, and I see this cute girl run up and hug her boyfriend. And she goes, hi, in her cutesy voice. Don't know who I am. I don't know her. She probably, actually, I think she did know who I am. I have no idea who the hell she is, because I'm that famous. I'm just kidding. Nobody knew me. We talked about this in the last one. She did know who I am. Anyways, continuing. So, she goes, hi, and hugs Joe. And I go... And I look at Joe, and I look at her. And I look at Joe, and I look at her. And I turn to Joe, and I go... How in the blue hell did you get with her? Now keep in mind, at the time, Joe was not the most attractive person. Now, pretty attractive. Then, not so much. You're so mean to him. Hey, <laughs> I'll say that to his face. Because he's attractive now. You see that, hey. Joe? You see that, Joe? He's just great. It's okay. I know you. Anyways. I hate you. Anyways. She goes, my name's Savannah. What's yours? After, again, hysterically laughing. Because she knows I'm right. And I go, I'm Carter. Nice to meet you. Truth be told, I did forget her name after I said mine for about two months straight. <laughs> You forget everybody's name. I don't take it personally. People come up to me and they go, oh, do you know this person? And I go, what do they look like? And they like <laughs> describe them. I go, no, show me what they look like. Anyways, that's how we met. Kind of, sort of. I think my story is the best, but you know, find you. Yeah, but um, your what was it? The story. I was in the forum. With Joey, you didn't come. You didn't come with him. I had him already. We were hand in hand, and he had mentioned so much about this awesome guy. 
And oh, um hello. Recording. <laughs> Anyways. My mother, I don't know what she was needing. Maybe I was gonna go get my glasses. That's fine. What's up? <laughs> hand in hand, totally lying. Yeah, t- we were hand in hand in uh, the forum, and you came down the forum stairs from the top because we uh, had met during lunch. Right. And came down the forum stairs. I was already with him, and um, when you came down, you had this big grin on your face, and you walked over all happy and great, and you're like. How did you get with her? Mind you, for like two months, he asked the same question, and he's like, I hate you both. Every time we walked down the, the hallway, I was, I was like, lonely. Yeah. I was he's like, I hate you. hate you both. And But he would walk, he walked down, whatever, and he, he's like, How did you get with her? And Joey just starts laughing. I was laughing too, but he was laughing more. I was laughing because I was embarrassed. He was laughing because he thought it was hilarious he said it. <laughs> oh, I speak my mind. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, we, it was great. And then he became one of my best friends for like a really long time. Yeah. Anyways, I think my story's better, but her story's probably the right answer. <laughs> I got a half. I got. I got. I got about passing grade. <laughs> I got a fifty-five. That's a pass in Canada. In the states, not so much. But we don't live in the states, so it's not my problem. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Yeah, I know. I'm awesome. Great. What else is new? The other thing is, I know I'm right too. I know I'm right too. <laughs> Sass over there. No, okay. Well, what is going on? I was so excited for me to meet you, though. Mostly because he, he, he didn't think... You, you didn't believe him. He had a girlfriend. That's why he wanted that to I prove believe, that, no, to that you I, I remember. existed. I didn't he, believe he him. He specifically told me that you didn't believe him, that he had a girlfriend. So he specifically was like, yeah, when he comes down, you and I, we need to be holding hands. So he knows. <laughs> and you walk down, and you're like... And, he, and he's like, I told you she was real. I still don't believe you. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not real. I don't exist. No, that's why she's in a computer screen. Anyway, no. It was... I remember just saying... How did you get with like f- for a while, and then it would? It was great. Oh yeah, for like two months. It was great, and then you two broke up, and you got with someone else who we don't like, and then you guys broke up, and then you got with someone else who we really don't like. And then we got together. No, we didn't get together yet. He had a plank over my back no we were together we were together then he broke up with her it no, let her go no yeah we, we were already broken up by that point me and him Dumb, dumbass let him go dumbass let her go and then I swooped like, in as the savior that I am <laughs> anyways so a little well, more to that story, savior but. that I am the one drunk text <laughs> and about two oh, one drunk text and a month and a half before. of waiting. <laughs> this is when I was in a relationship still. I mean, one sugar, very caffeinated text. <laughs> this was, um, oh yeah. I think yeah, it was about a, a month and caffeine. a half, month and a half, two months before we started dating. No, it was a lot longer. I swear it was. Because we were in COVID. Uh, it was during yeah. COVID. It was, dur- it was during COVID, and 
we were both it was really 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 like late at night because um it, it or like super early in the morning more so it was like 3 a.m or something yeah. and i just get this text and i'm sitting in my room on my bunk bed and not i'm like room. Different room. yeah not this room but i was i had a bunk bed with my sister my twin um and i'm like kylie Kylie, I just got a text and I don't know what to do about it. I remember. And then she's like, she's like, just respond to him. I don't know what to tell you. And I went, thanks, buddy. <laughs> thanks, buddy. It was oh, funny. I like it too. It was funny too because I, I remember, I can say now I'm an adult. I was out enjoying a couple beverages with my parents. I'm not that, I'm not a lightweight. I've learned I'm not a lightweight until I'm sick. I'm she she's a hella lightweight. She can take three she's three sips and she's done. Um, that's too much. That's too much. <laughs> no, it's three drinks. Um, so we were out and whatever in our backyard, enjoying each other's company. Me and my parents were talking, whatever. Come inside, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna chill out. I'm laying. I'm sitting on on the couch in my living room. No, it was a chair. I was sitting on a chair in my living room, and I'm like, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> and I'm sitting there, and I'm just start like, just typing. And I think I started out with, I'm a little drunk, so I'm probably forget or regret this in the morning. But <laughs> I'm like, just, yes. <laughs> just was like, I like yes. you. I've liked you for a while. I think you're cute. I think you're nice. You're the best person ever. I don't remember what I said. I remember what you said. Say it word for word. You said, I'm a little drunk right now, so I'm sorry, but I like you. And then he's like, you don't, you, you're like, I don't, you don't have to say anything. Thanks, but I like buddy. you. <laughs> and then I'm like, thanks, buddy. I like you too. Yeah. <laughs> so no. funny. What a small world. You and I, we have so much in common. <laughs> It's small world. <laughs> it's small world. Oh, and, no. uh, and then I felt so bad afterwards. And he got super quiet because we'd been talking throughout COVID, just like chatting. And like we were super good friends. And then for like a week, I was pretty silent because when I don't do well with hurting other people's feelings. So I was sitting there and I'm like, well, maybe I shouldn't text him for a minute. And so- then I texted you after week and you're like hey so oh my gosh our relationship is just based off of pity is what she's getting at uh she didn't want to break my heart yeah. so she got together with me <laughs> two almost three years of pity yep she's just holding up the act. Uh, she's a, she was a great actress in high school <laughs> she carried it yeah. over <laughs> no but it was as I, I remember it's like well i know i'm not getting anywhere with this and i've said my piece um so move on and then i sent him a song he likes those spray painted on a wall yeah Actually, I, I, went an, I went to a i went to an abandoned school and i like it was legal to go to it wasn't trespassing promise and um i was with my family whatever and i remember he liked this specific song so i sent him a picture of it because i'm like i immediately was like oh my gosh i remember he he really liked that song so i took a picture of it and i sent to him and i went look what i found i don't think it's saved i have it oh yeah i have it sorry i was just scrolling through our text and all i see is marvin from madagascar i think you sent me that it's probably i don't know why you sent that, but I remember you sent me that. Saving that. You're going to get a message that I saved something on Snapchat. Anyways, so it was funny because I didn't have Snap until COVID. Reasons because reasons that I don't want to get into. Didn't have Snap. Privacy reasons. What? Privacy reasons. Sure. So we... <laughs> No, I also didn't have a lot of people to talk to us. Anyways, my mom comes up to me one day, and we're, it's it's COVID. And she goes, hey, 
I just got Snapchat. I'm like, cool. She goes, so you can get Snapchat. I'm like, cool. And I went through, I made an account, and I was like, okay. And, he's and I think I was, you were like one of the first people to pop up. So I'm like, sure. Probably. <laughs> And I went through and I oh. added my, I think I went to like a bunch of my friends. Like, oh, I got Snapchat. What's all, what's your Snapchats? What's the, I got, let's do you know, Snapchat. You were so excited. I was so excited. But now it's like, I talked to three people on it <laughs> consistently. I, I leave everyone unopened. People might not like yeah. that. I leave everyone unopened. If I'm done with a conversation, I, I, I will. Opposite. I make sure to be the last person to text so they leave me unopened. I do it on purpose. Oh, I, I break the conversation. <laughs> yes. If if I'm done with a conversation, I'll leave you unopened. I don't care. I hate notifications. Even if you send me something and it's like something stupid, I'll just open it and never respond. Oh, it's my favorite thing. I, I Especially hate- when I have a great once my Instagram messages, it's like a dumb cat video, and I send it to him, and I know he has to look at it because he has this weird thing where he, he doesn't like notifications, so I send it to him on purpose because you know I'm an evil man. You know what's really funny, too? I can just open it, not look at it, and swipe away, and it, the notification is not. <laughs> There's certain people I do you that, like- too. With, their, with you, I think I go through them. There's certain people I just, if they send me something, I'll go, okay, close it. You wouldn't no I, not with you <laughs> no um the way you, you want to talk about like how we became like started dating or no a later time because like oh, we that's more that. embarrassing yeah, for me than it is him. keep in mind our last podcast was almost like two hours long so i think we can talk for we can talk about this then End it. Yeah, I'd like to apologize. I get very fidgety, so I'm just sitting there. Have, and I, I don't like, know what I'm. I'm not today. It's weird. Oh, I'm over here. I'm touching my eraser, my pencils, my water bottle, my hair, my yeah, gun. <laughs> it's okay. You know what? I could pull out the grown tubes, but they're over there, so I don't. Thank want to. God. <laughs> yeah, she has those tubes that go. When you flip they're them, fun. I hate that they're fun. I have two of them. I hate that I they're agree. fun. She bought one for her, um, and one for me, <laughs> so I wouldn't take her. Girl. No, I bought one for me, and I bought one because I know he'll take it from me. So I bought him one too. It's a win-win. And all my friends seem to be very prone to fidget stuff, so I bought two. Not only just for you, I'm just saying, it was also for. Any guests that came over. I don't because have all of my friends are from. Um. Okay. So. Do you, do, do you, you want to? Ex- who wants to explain it? I, I like the way you explain things. It was a cold September. <laughs> <laughs> no. So it was in the summer. It was in the summer. So we were a part of this group. Not anymore. 99% of them can go cry. Um, we were part of this group chat in the whatever in high school with a bunch of people. And their Sav broke up or Sav got broken up with not long before we started dating. L. The, honestly, it's not a sad moment. It's an L for him. El Bozo. Hold it. It was an El Bozo moment. Like, honestly, he lost. I keep saying we should send him a snap of us kissing, and you keep saying no. I don't even have him on snap. Good. Anymore. Amen. Let's go. I have him on one piece of social media. Ew. Disgusting. Uh, burn the social media. <laughs> not not block it. Just burn it. To go to, what was it, Instagram? Go to Instagram HQ and burn it down. <laughs> sees, sees his photo, throws my phone in fire. <laughs> Nukes in his house. Anyways, so it was not long after they broke up. We were on a call with, I'm not going to say who, because we don't talk about them anymore. We were on a call with somebody, and they were, that group was very pro us getting together. They were pushing for us to get together, like, heavily. 
And it was like, well, I don't want to, you know, push it because they're pushing it and I, whatever. So we are in a call and with one of them who we knew was going to go spread, like going to go talk to other people about if we actually got together. So she leaves for something. And I, I, I think it was, I come up, I came up with the idea, right? Yeah. Yes. So I I come up with the idea and I go, I have an idea. <laughs> and I'm Why like, don't I just say no to you? What? Why don't I just say no to you? Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you ask me out and I say no? And she goes. That'd okay. be so funny. Okay. I didn't say okay. I said that would be so funny. So. We're like, okay, so this, and we kind of plan, roughly plan it out. And Mm -hmm. the girl joins back in. And I think we waited a couple minutes. And then you're like, I have a question. Would you be interested in going out or something like, like, would you go out with me? And I turned around and I said, oh, (laughs) I'm sorry, but I can't. It's really funny, too, because, like, an hour before she joined the call, I was talking with her, and she's like, you gotta do it. You yeah. gotta do it. You gotta do it. Actually, and I'm like, but... I think you were telling me, like, oh, they were trying to get me to ask you out. Mm-hmm. And I'm like... And I'm like... We wanna fuck I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm like... I'm like, they're, they're, they're trying... Well, because, like, you and I were kind of talking for a little bit. We were yeah. like... Because we were interested in each other, and we knew we were interested in each other. We just didn't make it official. No, you knew I was interested in you, and you said that you were interested in somebody in the group and wouldn't tell me who. Oh, I forgot about because that. Because you were like, oh, or they were like, oh, she's interested in somebody in the group. And it was like a group secret you, away from me. Obvious. I had no idea. I'm oblivious. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I, I was like, yeah. Well, like, there's this person in our friend group who I'm re- like, I really like. I was so dead set it was on someone else. Well, like, most of the people in our, our friend group had a relationship. That's why I was so dead set on it being someone else. I'm not gonna say who, <laughs> but you, you, you no, know. Totally. Considering now, but <laughs> yeah. So, um. She joins back and we're like, okay, let's go. And roughly, she joins back and we're kind of just, I'm playing whatever. And she goes, hey, I have a question. Would you be interested in dating me or whatever? She said, like, asking me out. And I'm like, I'm sorry, but I can't. There was no reason behind it. It was just, I can't. And then I was And then she's sad. like, Yeah. And then she's like, I, I gotta go. And she leaves and we're like, she she and we, and we just start laughing. We start, well, because then later on, I wore his sweater to school. Yeah. So she, it it was. And I think even I'm like, do you actually want to get together? And you were like, yeah. And we're like, okay, yeah, sure. But it well, c- I asked you out because we weren't together at this point. Yeah. And then because we were like neither of us because we were like. You want to get? To, we didn't officially ask each other. We're like, you want to get together? No. No, it happened no. actually in like late September, early October, because we got together the fifth of October or mm-hmm. not October? Yeah, October. So I'm getting August yes. and October mixed up. Um, I do it all the time. So it was during that weekend because, or during that week because the next day. I'm like, what if I just bring you my sweater to wear? Which you did. And it was like a then ba- I wore it. And she still has it. And it was I like did. a baseball one because I would all you know play baseball and I had my number on it. And like they and they name. knew it was mine. <laughs> so I gave it to I I'm like, okay, meet me in my locker tomorrow morning. And I'm like, she's like, okay. You were so excited too. <laughs> I was so excited. Uh, I remember I'm, this. Silly little grin. Shut up. So <laughs> she, I, I'm like, okay, here's my sweater. Throw it on. She throws it on. She wears it the entire day. I don't, we weren't was- every class together, I don't think. 
No, not now. No, not that this was point. the next semester. The next yeah. term or whatever. I'd semester. Forget. Yeah. So we go and we're like, I don't think we saw our friends right away. I think we waited till lunch and we went out and she was just wearing my sweater. And they're like. Actually, nobody noticed right away. Right. No, it did take them a minute. Then they're like, oh, and they were like, oh, my God. Well, then I pulled you to to the side and then they noticed because I pulled you aside to to actually ask you out. Yeah. Because <laughs> I looked at you and I went, do you want to go? Out? And you, you started laughing and you went, no. And I'm like, no, 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 no. This is serious. <laughs> yeah, because I thought we were still f- I thought we were still be- pissing with them. Like, I, no, thought we were, I, was, I thought we were still fucking with them. No, no. And I looked up at you, and I'm like, "No, I'm I'm being serious." And you're like, "Like seriously? Like serious, serious?" And I went, "Yeah, serious, serious." And you're like, "And yeah." You have to keep in mind when I first met her, I liked her a lot. I had feelings for her, like the first time I met her, which again was with her boyfriend, and I was for. <laughs> two three it would have been three years i was like okay i can't say anything i gotta be careful don't want to get you know and it, it never lined up to the point where we were both single yeah. because even the time we might the one or two times it might have been when we were both single it was for like two days and then one of us would be in a relationship and it would kind of go back and forth. Like, we were playing, like, tennis. We were going back and forth the entire time. And then it was like, it just happened to line up perfectly. Mm-hmm. And then we were, like, together. And then we had to learn how to... I had to learn how to properly hold hands. <laughs> and how to walk with somebody while holding hands. And it's it's actually a lot when you first get in a relationship. How to do these relationship things consistently because it, it's it's you like it you like your hand to be held a certain way like if we hold it like your hand in mine or my whatever the other way that we don't do it 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 feels weird well like it's i do that like I, i've always done that even with like other people it was I need to be on the bottom because on the top, like, I'm literally curling my hand pretty much. Like, it feels weird. And it hurts my wrist. So. But it was, it, it's, I think when you get in a relationship, people don't talk about that enough. The things you have to do when you get into a relationship, like, you have to learn or relearn. Keep in mind, I, I was dating, I went from dating somebody in grade nine in person Dating somebody in grade 10 for a week in person. And then dating somebody during COVID. And during COVID, like, no physical contact. We saw each other in person twice to drop off, like, Christmas gifts. Or something like that. And she lived across town and whatever. We didn't see each other in person. We never went through that, like, physical stage. in the So, I, it's been... It was, like around two years the last time I held someone's hand properly. It was it was I'm used to it now. I'm happy I'm used to it now. She's disappearing. Um but it was weird to like relearn everything. And I I, I want that to be on the record. What are you what are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, Hold on. I'll talk to you in a minute. Hello? Hi, I'm just recording. <laughs> anyways, it was... Something. Anyways, it was weird. We're used to it now. I'm happy. We can end it now if you have nothing else to say so you can go talk to your sister. Well, no, it's fine. I have a lot to say. It's just... You can talk. So, um... My apologies for the background music or any other, whatever. But, um, basically, 
With me, I never had those issues. Not even because of anything specific. Just because I... It always came so naturally, I guess, to me. Like, I never had to deal with it, like... At all. Like, I never had to experience, like, trying to hold hands or, like... Like, kiss or hug or even write down, like, a note for them or something romantic. I still can't do that, so. I've always been superly over-romantic with everything I do, and I, um, what is it? I, um, I tend to figure stuff out on my own. Like, I never had to learn it or try and, try and learn it. Like, I, I never had that issue, unfortunately. Like, fortunately for me. Unfortunately, because I can't relate to... That's fine. But... I think um, there's a lot of things that we both can't relate to. Each other with. Unfortunately, with certain things. Fortunately. We kind of had, like, very opposite lives. Yeah. Like, our lives are kind of... Like, they're balanced pretty well, but they were opposite. Like, we were raised differently. We went to school differently. We had relationships differently. Like, it, which might be for some people and others, whatever. Um, no, there's a lot of stories I have that I like looking back on. Because, like, funny enough... Um, I had a crush on him at one point and decided to set him up with my friend instead. I still think that was your worst decision you've ever made. <laughs> That's not nice. I'll say it. I'll consistently say it too. It was a bad relationship. It's depressing because she's still on my channel. I'm not saying where. I'm not saying why. I'm just saying it was not a good relationship I don't want to be dead sorry I like that song <laughs> but I I, I I I love you but I think that is the worst decision you've ever made I want you to be happy and it's okay you made up for it though Actually, every one of his, like, first kisses with these girls, I've been with in every single one of them. Why? I don't know. You just always be, you're just always there. (laughs) I'm just like, oh my, cheering you on every single time. Actually, one of them was not cheering. It was a competition. (laughs) That was funny. I won. We won. (sighs) No. We now won. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Anything else you want to touch on? Um, any stories? I don't have any. I think we should just have an episode where we only talk about our relationship. Yes. Up until now. That might be the next one. I think the next in-person one we can do that. We can have a recap if we want. Yeah, recap of our relationship. So we dated, and then we dated, and then we dated. And, and we're still dated dating. And Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> well, I'll let you no. go deal with your sister. As in take her okay. back old yeller style. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> If you have not already followed or subscribed, depending on where you listen to, consider doing so. Uh, check out our channels, our the card in the description. It will have where you can find the podcast on other various platforms. Check out Sav's YouTube channel, Petal underscore bomb, P-E-T-A-L underscore bomb. Check out my channel, Chicken Tenny Gaming. Again, you can find that in the description. Uh, as well as you can find other things in the description of my card, which I've redone because I now realize I have about five channels that I actively use. Just crazy to think about. Anyways, thank you guys so much 
for watching. Consider subscribing. Consider following. Anything you want to say? Um, make sure to like this video and comment anything else you want us to talk about. Yeah, do that. Rate five stars on Spotify. We'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Uh, I like chicken nuggets.